I don't know when they knocked over, but um, anyway, hi. I don't really even know how to properly uh, do this, so we're just gonna go for it. Um, I was on Twitter, and a friend of mine decided um, to tweet something that upset me. Uh, it, it shook me to my very core, and um, well, I, I might as well just show you right here. JT Wusky tweeted, by the way, go follow JT uh, on Twitch. He's a Twitch streamer, go, go follow them. Nice person. Yeah, they tweeted this, which brought me down a further rabbit hole, down into to North. Anyway, they tweeted there, they, they were the one who started it. So um, I figured I should do one. So the, the topic is tier lists of fast food um, places. I got fast food, fast food, which is what will happen after you eat the fast food. Uh, so anyway, tier list is about fast food restaurants. I I've got my, my tier list maker loaded up right here. And we're just gonna go one by one, uh, and I'm gonna put, put them on the, put them on the, the tier list. We're just gonna go in order that they put it on here. So we're starting with Arby's. Now, Arby's. I actually had never had Arby's until very recently when I decided, oh, you know, I've never been to Arby's. I should I should try out Arby's. Give them a give them a shot to impress me. They did not at all. Um, but you know, I still think they might they might have some potential that I haven't discovered yet. So we're not gonna give them the fail because I didn't hate it. But we're gonna put them in the D category because you know, I, I've never been to Checkers. I have no clue what that is. Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. Okay, their food's not good, but. They're the only place that is consistently open 24 hours, uh, at least where I am. So they get some bonus points for that. Food's bad, but they're always open. Always. Jimmy John's, I um, I don't really like sandwiches unless it's me being sandwich. I don't think I've been to Jimmy John's. I don't like sandwiches. Sonic, never been. Whataburger, never been. Look at us stacking them. White Castle? What do I remember of White Castle? White Castle has the, the small sliders, obviously. They're nuggets? Were they? And are they still crown shaped? Or do, did I make that up? Did they have chicken rings? Was that them who had the chicken rings that were like onion rings, but like chicken, what's that? Or am I making this up? I don't know. But White Castle, I don't have much of a memory of it, but what I, what I do remember is that they had cool shapes, but other than that, it was just cheap, fast food, so it gets a C. IHOP? So, IHOP, I haven't had a lot of uh, experience with IHOP, but every time that I've had IHOP, I've like genuinely been like, wow, this is surprisingly good. I don't, I don't, I didn't know that their food was actually like decent. I thought they like, just, you know, made pancakes, and I don't love pancakes that much. And, and I know their pancakes are good, they had like stuffed, Cinnamon, no, stuffed, stuffed French toast at one point, so it was like filled with cream cheese frosting and shit like that. That was so good. And then I tried one of their burgers once when they were doing that, the IHOP thing. They were pretty good. Uh, you know what? We're gonna give, we're gonna give IHOP an A. How you tried their glazed strawberries? Uh, anyway, Papa John's. Who? Um. That's a complicated subject, isn't it? Wasn't like the, wasn't the Papa a bad person? I didn't really follow it. We're just gonna put it in the fail section just so that I don't get canceled. Um, <laughs> Panda Express, um, it's not the best, but it's, it's cheap and good quick, but like, I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the same category as Jack in the Box. Popeyes, I've never been. By the way, I'm sorry if you're offended by me never having gone to any of these places. The simple fact is that a lot of these places have never been around where I lived. Anyway, Little Caesars, okay. So it's a known fact that Little Caesars pizza is bad. It's not good, right? I can't be the only one who knows, like I can't, that can't just be my opinion. 
It's like a known thing. Little Caesars, you're not getting their pizza because it's a good pizza. You're getting it because you can get a large pizza for five bucks, right? Like nobody's like, oh man, I'm really craving that Little Caesars pizza, but they're craving that, those deals. That's what they're craving. Um, just for the deals, they get a seat. They do this thing and it's the worst, but it's also the best. Where they, um, what was it? It was like the pretzel crust pizza with the cheese sauce on it. That was pretty bomb and for that reason, B. That's it. Just high as it'll go. Burger King? I used to go to Burger King a lot as a kid. It, it, there wasn't really a lot of fast food restaurants around my area, and that was the that was the, the common one. Um, the chicken fries are good. Do they still do chicken fries? Their food is average for a burger chain, and I did like the impossible, the fact that they had a deal with impossible to do plant-based meat, because plant-based meat is really good for the environment comparatively to, yeah, anyway. Um, it's somewhere between an A and a B for me, for Burger King. We're gonna put Burger King in the A tier because of the chicken fries and the progressiveness of their <laughs> their brand. Yep, yeah, that's true, that's totally it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next is Wendy's. Wendy's, honestly, Wendy's has never done me wrong. I don't think I've, gone to Wendy's and had a single like time where I wasn't like yeah that was good I'm like I don't think I've ever had any regrets from Wendy's the Frosties that's what they're called right I don't even really get those but like when I do or when I have in the past it's always been good they're, they have like chili there was a finger in the chili at one point or was that fake I don't remember they have that one pretzel bun burger that has like the mutton was it Munster cheese on it I don't even know they, their burgers are always like really indulgent but they like to shove bacon on everything at the same time. Okay, I'm talking too much about Wendy's. Um, I don't like bacon, if, if that was unclear with that, yeah. I know, I know, don't comment. You don't like bacon, shut up. Nobody cares that you like bacon and I don't. <laughs> Sorry, that was harsh. Anyway, Wendy's, uh, A. Hmm. A. Hard sticking with A. Um, Taco Bell? Look. Taco Bell is just... I want some flavor goop presented in different ways with different textures, some hot sauce on it, and a Baja Blast. And the freezes. So, and they, but they, here's the thing about Taco Bell. At least when I was in high school, I was, I was like, damn, Taco Bell's always innovating, coming out with these crazy new ideas. Nobody else is doing what they're doing. You know, what did they do? They did the ghost pepper quesarito. That was like the spiciest thing that I've ever had at a fast food restaurant. What else did they do that's interesting? Like, they have that, the naked chicken chalupa where the like shell of the chalupa is just chicken, which it's not good, but like, it's so creative, but the Baja Blast. Here's the thing about Baja Blast. Actually, hold, hold that thought. All right. The thing about Baja Blast, while it is and remains, actually, I have some updated opinions on my, on my Mountain Dew ranking, but um, for the longest time, this has been one of the best flavors of Mountain Dew that has ever existed. And, um, for most of the year, the only place you can get this is at Taco Bell. But at the same time, I don't know if going to Taco Bell is worth it just for the Baja. The flavor goop, prevent, even though like, even though they're presenting it in creative ways, the flavor goop is still just normal flavor goop. Sometimes it gets real spicy, but most of the time you're just getting flavor goop wrapped in different ways. And every summer, they bring back Baja Blast in cans. So, as much as I love Baja Blast and everything it stands for, and as much as I love the creativity, I don't know if Flavor Goop is worth the full S tier. I know it sounds like I'm about to like rank them really low, but I'm trying to justify the reason I'm giving them an A tier and not an S tier. So, Subway, I don't even have much to justify this, but my gut instinct was C. Because they do make good stuff and it's cheap, and it's fast, but it's really nothing special. Five Guys, I worked at Five Guys, and it kind of ruined it for me. 
um, because I just realized how not special it was. Do you know that they don't season their patties? They don't. They don't put salt. They don't put pepper. They just. They just cook it right. And there's a very particular technique which I'm not going to go into here, but I still remember it. I think it's. It's going to get a solid. It's going to get a solid A, because it's. While it's nothing, like special, it's not. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. I don't know where to place this though, because the burgers are better than like Burger King and IHOP. Most of the time they're better than Wendy's, but it's kind of a toss up between, I feel like Wendy's and Five Guys. So maybe I guess this goes in the A tier as well. There's a lot of A tier for me. So Applebee's, look, I remember there was an Applebee's right across the street from uh, the movie theater when I was growing up. So it was always before or after the movie we'd go to Applebee's. And you know, it wasn't bad, but it was normally pretty slow and it was kind of, it was, well, I mean, obviously I was younger, so my parents were paying, but it wasn't cheap. But I think their food was okay. I don't think it was anything like where I'm thinking like in my brain, like, oh, yeah, let's go to Applebee's. It's, it just was there, and it was good while it was there. So we're gonna give it an average. So, uh, or we're gonna give it a B. Now this is, oh, okay, okay. Chili's is next. This is gonna be my most controversial opinion here, I think. Chili's gets an instant S tier with me. I have so many good memories of Chili's. Um, Back when I was a kid, I would be in the mall and we'd be waiting for our seats at Chili's or waiting for our food at Chili's and I'd say to my parents, like, hey, can we, can I, like, while we're waiting, can I go down to the, the GameStop? And then I'd be looking at the game demos and all the, the games that I, you know, wasn't going to get anytime soon, but I was like, it's the GameStop, man. And then I'd come back and get my food. And then when I was in high school, like late in high school, and my, my girlfriend um, and I used to go there all the time and get the skillet queso. Uh, and this is my ex at this time, but like it was still a good memory. Uh, I mean, wait, no, at the time we were dating. Now they're my ex, but they're still good memories. The skillet queso at at, at at Chili's is worth the visit alone, in my opinion. And then the rest of their menu is solid. It's got everything you want. Chipotle. Chipotle. I used to really like Chipotle until I went to a place that I don't think is on this list. Qdoba is the better and cheaper version of Chipotle. So let's just say Chipotle gets an F, but Qdoba, it's going, it's gonna be in the, I guess it's gotta be in the S tier because it's like, I can't have, Taco Bell's only here for Baja Blast though. If you want real Mexican food, you're not going to Qdoba but it's solid and does the job when you need it. So A tier for Qdoba, F tier for Chipotle. Domino's is my favorite fast pizza place and it's always good in my opinion, except for when they fuck up my order. But Domino's, Domino's is all right. You know, if you want good pizza, you're not gonna go to Domino's and they don't bring anything to the table that's particularly special. So I don't think it goes into the A tier. Hardee's, Carl's Jr. I've been a few times in my life, but I, it was never a go-to, and I'm sure that's for a reason, so I'm just gonna instinctively put it in D. In and out, S tier. I'm not even gonna talk about that, because I know, I know what you guys are thinking. Because I know some people are gonna say, in and out's not that good, I tried it once, it's like, Whataburger is so much better, or whatever their local, like, crazy popular chain of burgers is. Look or Shake Shack or something like that. I think you were just disappointed and that's tainting your view of it. I think you heard everybody say it's so amazing. So you went and expected it to be amazing and it was just average. And I, I just, I can't think of a flaw with In-N-Out other than wait times. I've had a lot of good memories with In-N-Out, 
like I'd, I'd say, you know, no flaws with it, it would go in A tier normally, but again, personal experience with it and those good memories bump it up to the S tier for me. KFC. So KFC, I have one really nearby, I go there on occasion. The Famous Bowl is really good. Um, I don't really get, what's this here? I don't really like bone-in chicken very much. So KFC is personally not for me. I'm gonna put it in the C tier. Cause look, I know it's finger licking good, okay? But not for me. And I think that's understandable and you should respect that person who's hating at me for putting KFC in the C slot. Their chicken sandwich isn't that good, okay? Buffalo Wild Wings, I get a wing place I've never been. Um, do they have Wingstop in here? Can you? They don't have Wingstop in here. Wingstop's pretty good. Just, I'm uh, just mentioning that. Um, Chick-fil-A. It feels... Here's the thing about Chick-fil-A. It feels like I've fucked up my entire tier list now because Chick-fil-A should be, like, in another section of just bad. I think a lot of people have the, the in-and-out effect where they have, like, they've been around it a lot. So, you know, they're like, oh yeah, I love, love me some Chick-fil-A. Uh, but it's nothing special. And the company's um, past and I believe still present, even though they said it wasn't gonna happen anymore, is just not acceptable. So, you know what? They are going to the F spot next to Papa John's. And I can't, I can't have, I can't have Chipotle there anymore. Cause those are both problematic companies so they get their own tier. Panera? It, I, I don't have much to say about it, it's all right. It, it's all right. Marcos, I, meant that, I read that as macros, um, but Marcos, I've never been there. <laughs> McDonald's? Look, this is gonna be controversial again, but McDonald's is an S tier for me. Again, it's, it's their stuff is always solid, and um, they they used to be 24 hours, and I used to go there a lot in like the late of night after long days in school and like you know university, and it's consistently good, not just average. And I know it definitely varies per location how good uh, McDonald's can be, but they do kind of change up their menu a lot. Um, more, or like add new things that for limited times, which are really cool. They did that like signature series of burgers that were really good, um, like a few years back. Um, they had an exclu exclusive flavor of Sprite at some point. And right now they added apple fritters to their menu. And those apple fritters are legitimately like one of the best things, just like fast food industry. They're just, I don't know why they're so good, but every time I get McDonald's, I have to get an apple fritter because of how good they are. And just, you know, again, it's just memories and then those few small things that just bump it up from just being like, yeah, this is good, to being like, this is a special place in my heart. Dairy Queen, B tier. The food's not good. The blizzards are great. Pizza is just bad. Pizza is just bad. It's not good. Like. At least for Little Caesars, they had the cool limited time stuff and they're cheap. Pizza Hut, it's still cheap, but it's just not worth it. It's like actively bad. Um, Starbucks? You know, this one, this one's tough for me. It's obviously not really like a food place primarily, but I feel like they do offer what everybody needs. I don't know if you've ever had their grilled cheese. But it's actually one of the best grilled cheeses you can get at a fast food place, surprisingly. Um, so, and I actually like like their frappuccinos, their cold blended drinks. Oh, and pumpkin spice lattes and frappuccinos and stuff. But yeah, I'd say, you know, it's really solid. I don't have any personal connections with Starbucks though, so it's just gonna go in that A. Go in that A, baby. You know, I don't think Johnny Rockets is that bad. I think Johnny Rockets, their burgers are at least on par with Wendy's, if not better. Maybe I just remember it different, like, poorly. Because I remember it, like, I've been there 
in so many different places, and it's always on a like vacation of some sort or for an event. Like uh, BLFC, they have a Johnny Rockets at the at the, at the hotel or convention center. At both man, yeah, I didn't expect this, but I think this has to go in the S tier. Olive Garden, hmm. I don't remember it being that great either. I just remember loving the breadsticks. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, Olive Garden, it was good food, but it was nothing special. So it goes in the A tier, but it's definitely not fast food. So I kind of don't even want to put it up here. Red Robin, yum. Um, <laughs> that's all I have to say. But it's also not fast food. Tim Hortons, been there once. Uh, it, uh, I gotta watch my words here. It wasn't bad. I just don't really remember it being good. So... B. This is definitely not on this list, I don't think, but um, as a side note, Nando's would be an S tier. For those of you out there, Nando's, S tier. Krispy Kreme, 2012. Um, there was a time that I spent a month in Japan, and right outside of our hotel, they were opening a Krispy Kreme, which was the first Krispy Kreme in whatever area it was. It was like big, the line was several hours long, but since we had been there for a month and we had nothing to do that morning, me and my mom waited in line for several hours just to get a glazed donut. I mean, we got a box of donuts, different types, but you know, but it's just donuts. I'm not even a big fan of donuts that much. So I'm gonna put it with Tim Hortons because I think that's, that's fair. Dunkin' Donuts. I've technically been to, I don't remember it being that great, but it was definitely coffee and donuts. I'd say it's on par with the Subway. Baskin Robbins, this is an ice cream place first off, so I don't know why it's on here. Um, but I mean, I love ice cream. Their flavors are mostly great. They specifically have a flavor, I don't know if they still do it, but they used to do it around Valentine's Day every year. The Love Potion 31 or something. That stuff was just like amazing. Um, and I used to stock up on it every year because of how good it was. Um, but I still wouldn't say to myself like, this is an S tier place to go. Cause I, I liked Cold Stone more, <laughs> which I don't think is on here. Um, so for the record, Cold Stone, banana ice cream with raspberries in it. Cheesecake Factory? I don't know, I, I, something's telling me to put it here. It might not make logical sense, but it feels right in my heart. So don't come at me in the comments. I've never been to Beef Brady's or Bonefish Grill or El Pollo Loco or A&W or Firehouse Subs or Golden Corral or Hungry Howie's or Hooters or Cheddar's or Crystal or, actually I've been to Longhorn. I remember it being pretty good. Probably on par with Olive Garden or the Cheesecake Factory. I think I, because I don't have a personal connection to it, I think it feels, I feel like it has to fit in the same spot as the Cheesecake Factory. Cause I've only been like once or twice. And I, the rest of these I haven't been to either. Okay. So this is my tier list. Um, and I'm gonna save it. You know what? Save. I don't have an ad blocker. Well, that's gone, I think. So now now what we're gonna do really quick here, is now that we went over and, and done my tier list, we're gonna look at um, first Norths. And in fact, I actually have another tier list uh, here, which we're gonna rank the tier lists of these fast food restaurants on, on this tier list. Like, look, I respect the McDonald's. Um, I respect the McDonald's as an S tier. Krispy Kreme, I guess that makes sense. Wendy's, I can respect. Domino's, I can see where you're coming from. A&W, I've never been. Panda Express, I, they've obviously never really had good Chinese food or uh, just Asian food. That's very good because you can't, I don't think you can morally have had Asian food and put Panda Express as an S tier. 
A tier, Taco Bell, I can see that. Again, the flavor paste kind of thing. DQ, I would've put, yeah, I'd put DQ lower. I didn't think it was that great. Hooters never been, but I mean, Femboy Hooters, am I right? Um, anyway, White Castle, okay, I get it. Uh, anything else stand out here? They did like Applebee's Red Robin, IHOP, a little dirty there. I think they, they just, because they're not, they're not fast food places, which I, I guess kind of lowers their value on this list. Five Guys, I, you know, I, again, I was saying Five Guys is nothing special, so that makes sense to be in the C, in the C tier. Uh, Little Caesars in the D makes sense. Boycott this shit. That's a good column. I wish I had that one. Um, Papa John's Chick-fil-A is in there. Um, I, I don't know why they feel so strongly about boycocking. Boycocking. <laughs> boycotting CC's and Arby's? But I, I'd love to hear a reason. And they've never been to In-N-Out, which is one that I was curious about. They've never been to Chili's. Any of these that sounds bad to me? Yeah, I'm, I wish we could have seen their opinion on In-N-Out and Chili's. But it be how it be. So you know what? There's some respectable opinions on here. And they had McDonald's as A tier. So look, for now we're going to put North in the, in the A column. This is a pretty good tier list, and you know, I'm not mad at it. This is the tweet that I saw that inspired this entire video. JT. Look. Taco Bell and Red Robin being in the D tier is a shame, a real shame. Chili's being in the C tier, a bigger shame. Chipotle being B tier, eh. I appreciate Panda B tier. McDonald's at A tier, you know, I'd say that's fine. Johnny Rockets being in A tier, I'm glad they appreciate the Johnny Rockets. Domino's being in A tier, I understand that. Same with Starbucks. Chick-fil-A, however, does not deserve to be on A tier. No matter what, I don't want to hear, I mean, this is not a call out post. I don't want to see this in my comments. I don't want to see, oh, chick fil not that bad. Have you had their sauce? Fuck you. That's all I have to say. This shit smacks for years and I'll smack you for years. You hate gay people if you like Chick-fil-A. That's what it means. If you eat Chick-fil-A, you hate gay people. So if, you're, if you like gay people, then stop eating Chick-fil-A or queer people or, you know, LGBTA people. LGBTQ plus people. Wendy's being an S tier, I can understand. Five Guys being an S tier, I actually really don't understand. I can kind of see why it's in higher tiers, but I'm not really sure I see it in S tier ever. So personally, JT, I'm sorry, but your choice to put Chick-fil-A in the A tier and five guys in the S tier, while the rest is pretty fair. Actually, you know what? No, it's not fair. Burger King and KFC do not deserve don't eat here ever. That's all I'll say. You know what? The more I look at this, the more upset I get. Neither of them have had in and out. And that's like one of the most like controversial opinions, I feel like. I don't even know what to do with myself. This tier list is very unsatisfying. So it gets a C. I like your, the cut of your jib, North. JT, I also like the cut of your jib, but I just don't like your tier list. So, um... Anyway, my tier list is obviously D tier. Um, so that's gonna do it for this video, whatever this was. I hope you enjoyed it, but, um... Fuck, just, here's my Patreon people, and, um... If you want your name on that list, there's a link in the description for the Patreon. And check me out on Twitch, because I do that, like, a lot. <laughs> so thank you. Bye.